Hello, I'm Kim Mason. I'm a registered dietitian here at Carson Tahoe Regional Healthcare, and I'm here to answer uh, questions today. This one comes from Alicia. Um, her question is: It truly better to eat organic foods versus non-organic foods? And you know what? That is a really good question. Um, when you look at the difference between regular food and organic food, really the nutrient content not that much difference. Um, so then why would you turn to organic foods? Well, there's a couple of really good reasons. Number one, when you're looking at organic foods, to be called organic, they have to show that they've been certified. And that in Nevada means that they've had to go through an inspection. They have to meet a pretty grueling set of, of uh, requirements uh, to meet what would be considered to be organic. And part of that is, that the product itself has what's called traceability, which means if I bought that product and I got sick, I would have an ability to go back and find out what was the problem with that product. So they're very, very careful about how they handle the product. For me, as a, like for instance, I run a, a pretty large uh, kitchen operation, what it allows me to do is be able to purchase the food and it meets my requirements even here at the hospital, particularly in my cafeterias, so that I'm able to uh, buy foods and, and have that uh, traceability. For us, it's a liability that we want to make sure all of our food uh, meet. And so for our organic, um, that meets the criteria. The other thing is organic is typically local growers. And the importance about that is that if you can keep things local, you're doing a lot of good for not only what we can grow here, keeping um, our own community viable and healthy, but you're reducing some carbon footprints. So things are not having to be transported all over the world to get you the produce you need right where you need it. Produce comes from all over the world, really. And now they have regulations that are voluntary at this point, could become mandatory later, that says you have to actually be able to report where is that food grown, and where is it processed, where is it shipped from. And a lot of our food actually comes from pretty far places, like out of the country even. So my own perception is the benefit of having it local is, is huge. Another thing is your local growers will, will tend to take good care of their soil. Sounds kind of funny, but when you're, when you're trying to groom your soil, you're using compost, you're using um, things that will put nutrients back into the soil in a natural format. The food naturally will pick that up as it's growing and now you've got a food that's better for you than maybe if that kind of attention had not been given to the soil, to the dirt. Um, so those are three really good reasons why organic is a pretty good idea, and I would encourage it. Again, we've got a, uh, a series of classes coming up this uh, March, um, so watch for that in, um, in the newspapers and publications. The next one is going to be, our, our, one of our first ones is coming up uh, on March the 13th. So hope to see you there, and thank you.